Another day, another week of hoping Cade gives me an exotic engram from one of these damn chests. Welcome back everyone, welcome to a new Cade video. Here is where we buy the treasure maps that Cade sells, go to the location, get the chest that it indicates and show you the loot I receive. That could be an exotic, that could be uh, one of the cool emblems that's always out from one of these chests. And it can also be a faction weapon, which is something I suggested in last week's video, which I basically just thought maybe the Cade chests have a potential of dropping the new faction weapons that are coming soon. It's not been said when they're coming out, but it might drop them considering it's dropped the last batch of faction weapons when the rally was around but now i'm positive it's likely to not happen because if it would let's be honest by the first day everyone would have caught on by now and it would be everywhere that kind of does tell you that i think that was an accident by bungie and that wasn't meant to happen anyway though guys just to quickly say between all of these chests like i'll pick up a chest and then i'll go off for like 10 15 minutes to go to a public event or do some other stuff just so that anti-farming measure doesn't apply to this because i know bungie have actually acknowledged this problem now but still i just wanted to be sure and i know one of these five chests give nothing anyway but just to be sure after every chest I did a public event so I just want to let you guys know that I have been doing stuff I haven't been doing like chest after chest after chest back to back just a note first chest we're going to be picking up is the one above Exodus Black now if you've seen my first video of showing where these chests are you'll definitely recognize this spot go up on the hill of Exodus Black you jump on the rocks and follow the path and it should be right in front of you The loot we received from this chest was only a Cade's Odds and Ends item. And let me know if you guys collect them or if you just hand them in straight away. I personally keep them just because they're only worth 500 Glimmer in the first place or 1000 Glimmer I think. So I don't really find it a big hassle to hand them in. Next chest definitely one of the easiest ones in the Watcher's Grave. If you guys are doing these chests as well or if you've already got them completed this week. Do let me know what your best loot was or just loot at all. Did you get completely shafted this week or did you get an exotic? What did you get? I don't know how rare exotics are but my hope of getting one out of these chests is dwindling away. So as you guys can see, another new emblem I've never received before. I said this in last week's video as well, I love getting these new emblems, and let me know if you guys have got this as well. Not entirely sure about what other emblems are available this week, or if emblems are like planet specific, which I want to say they are, but if you guys know then let me know. Next chest we loot is the one in the tangle, and like I said previously, this is another one from one of my old videos as well. I believe it was three weeks ago when it was Nessus, and this was actually the chest I got the future war card auto rifle from. I have to admit, when I saw the legendary pop up, I actually was convinced for half a second that it was a new faction weapon. But so far, my luck with this chest is I've opened it twice, and both times I've received a faction weapon. But if you guys are still after a few of the old ones, then get your cage just done, and you have a chance. Onto the last two chests, which are located within the Hallows, and once again, we're going to be starting from Artifact's Edge for both of these. And a quick question for you guys. When you first spawn into Artifact's Edge, like I'm at right now, have you ever tried to just get on your sparrow and ride off the cliff? Because the results are quite interesting. <laughs> I'm just saying, if you made that jump with your sparrow and survived, that right there is impressive. So with this next chest, I receive another Cade's Odds and Ends item, and it's a letter fragment, but this time I couldn't pick it up because of how letter fragments work. If you have four or five of them, I can't remember the exact limit, but basically if you have all of them, you cannot pick the duplicates up, which obviously isn't a massive deal because these things give up, what, 500 glimmer? My friends were telling me that if you have too many of them, you cannot pick them up, and I didn't experience it yet, but now I have, and as you can see, it just is a white engram on the ground. It's look quite weird to be honest. Here is the letter fragment in the postmaster but as you can see in my inventory I do not have any of them. I put them all in the vault and still you cannot collect the duplicate. So here's the final chest guys. I do hope you all have been enjoying these chest videos. I know they're not the most interesting thing ever but anything I want that gives me an opportunity to make a video every week of like the same sort of subject that I can turn into like a series so I can make it every single week just so I at least have something to upload every week in case I run out of video ideas and I genuinely do enjoy making these. And if you guys do have any ideas that I can make into like weekly videos then do, by all means do let me know. And of course, the final chest is nothing, which very much makes my Titan just want to...
Either way, guys, as always, I do hope you enjoyed this video. Please do leave a like if you did enjoy. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe. All feedback is welcome as always. All I want to do is improve for you guys. Closing in on 22,000 subscribers as well, which just... I, I can't comprehend. I just... I, I try not to think about it too much, but it's just... It's mental. You guys are awesome. You guys know it. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.